Okay, so a knowledge question should have certain characteristics. First of all, it should be about something which matters. It should have um, significant implications. It should be something that engages all of us. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be a worldwide phenomenon. It doesn't have to be an enormous um, event that's going on in the world. It can be something local. It could even be something personal, but it's got to be something that we all care about, something that we can recognize, something that we can sympathize with. Um, so it should engage your readers or your audience when you're writing your essay or your presentation. Um, secondly, it has to be an open question. Um, it has to lead on to something which is defined by debate. It can't just be a yes, no answer. Um, a good rule of thumb is that if it causes a fight in your top classroom, it's probably a good knowledge question. Um, thirdly, and this is a tricky bit, it has to be a second order knowledge question. We're not interested in first order knowledge questions. Now, what's the difference between these? A first order knowledge question is about the phenomenon itself. It's about something going on in the world. A second order knowledge question is about how we know about that phenomenon, how we know about that event. To put this into context, if we were looking at human sciences, we're not interested in theories about the mind we are interested in how we know about those theories of the mind. So can we trust what these psychologists are telling us? Um, has the scientific method been used? Um, is it reliable information? Is it strong knowledge? Um, if we are looking at ethics, we're not really interested in the answer of, is the death penalty right or wrong? We want to know about how you come up with a position, how you, how you base your um, knowledge on this question. So we might think about the way in which we use faith to come up with an answer to this question. We might look at how we come up um, with an answer based on reason. Do we use religion? Do we use the law, etc., etc.? If we're looking at the natural sciences, we're not interested in Einstein's theory of relativity per se. We're interested in how Einstein came up with the theory of relativity. Did he use imagination? Did he use reason? Did he use intuition, etc., etc.?